a psychologist and an entrepreneur, I got to say that video was the farthest thing from my mind when I first started building a practice. Uh, you know, you get out of graduate school with very little business training and you're trying to struggle your way up and you're just focused on trying to fill your waiting room. You're trying to figure out how to get referrals and make connections and build those relationships. So you're more than happy to, you know, basically trade your expertise on an hourly basis one client at a time. It's all one-on-one. -on -one. Um, all the relationship building is one-on-one -on -one to get people in there and all the work is one-on-one. -on -one. So what happens over time is kind of uh, interesting because you don't really think through what your business model is. You fill that waiting room. So now what happens when you're reaching the maximum number of hours you can real realistically fill in any given day without burning yourself out? and you're filling your entire schedule for the week, well, you, you get stuck. I mean, you get stuck and you're sort of trying to figure out why am I stuck on this plateau? This trading time for money thing really gets you into a bind and you don't know how to get out because that's the only model that you know. That's what your mentors were doing. That's what your role models were doing. So where do you go from there? That's the real question. You're just stuck. How, how are you going to get off this time trap plateau? As an entrepreneur and sometimes called marketing crazed MBA, I was always looking for a way to multiply my efforts through others. So direct mail came in very early on where I could take my message out to a lot of people at one time. I could do one to one, but really do one to many, not as a full group, but individually. And that was really important, an important way to deliver my message. For instance, in the real estate business, and I sold a quarter of a billion dollars worth of real estate, if the person that was really interested in me was, let's say, at Q, and I started at A, B, C, and I wanted to go through with personal appointments with all these people, it would take me forever to get to Q. But if I could mail to all of them at one time individual letters, letters that were personalized to them, then I could find out that that person Q would raise his or her hand and say, I'm interested. That's something I want to do. And that was something that I did right away. So I wanted to get out of the trading my time for money, one hour for one hourly fee. I'd much, much rather work really, really hard and put in lots of hours to get something that's going to be sustainable. A fee that goes on for a long time or a much higher fee than an hourly rate could take me. And that's one of the things that direct mail allowed me to do. And then when I really was thinking about it and thought, you know, I can put video in here too. It can help take my message out. It can be there when I'm not there. It can take my message out in a direct way to one individual at a time. Let's face it, on our web pages right now, sometimes we think that we're going out to lots of people. What we need to think is that we're going out to a lot of one person. So that we're always directing that message to one person. So even as we write on our web pages, it should be you. It should not be to all of you. Hey, how are all of you doing today? No, no, no. It's to that one person who's reading it. Only one person reads it at a time. Only one person sees that video. But it's there. It's reaching out.